Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so it is time for me to go over my menu plan for the week. There's no grocery haul this week, but next week there will be. There will be Costco and a huge, well, huge for me, Azure Standard Haul. Um, we're really trying to just stock up so we can kind of coast the rest of the year. And with prices going up the way they are still, I want to kind of get some shelf stable items at this price before they continue to go up. And also there's some shortages coming. So I hear wanted to stock up on that stuff too, but I don't pick that up until next week. It's supposed to be next Thursday. So hopefully you will see it next Friday. But that's all I have to say about that. This week's menu, as always, if you would like a blank copy of my menu planner, just head on over to jonespointatplate.com and click on the free printables link. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can print out absolutely free. I think that's all, right? Right. Uh, I will update the menu either tonight or tomorrow morning on the website. You can always print out the menu from there. You can have all the recipes, all that good stuff. So let's get started. Okay, breakfast on Sunday. We are going to have some eggs Benedict. Feeling a little bougie. Monday, just eggs, potatoes, and sausage. Tuesday, a French toast bake. Wednesday, breakfast burritos, which now may have to change because I used the last of my tortillas and honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to make any. So that may change to a breakfast sandwich. Thursday, an, a peach oatmeal bowl. Friday, just cereal. I'll have Kamut Puffs, Doug will have Heritage O's. Saturday, omelets and bacon as always. For lunches, you know, on Sunday, we generally don't have lunch. Monday is going to be a picky plate with some meat, cheese, veg, and fruit. More than likely, it will be turkey. Tuesday, yogurt and granola with fruits and veggies. Like, just kind of like a picky plate, but instead of doing the meat and cheese, I'll do yogurt and granola. Wednesday, a turkey sandwich with fruit and vegetables. Thursday, bacon-wrapped chicken bites with fruit and and veggies. Friday, another picky plate. And Saturday is a clean out the fridge day. For dinners next week, Sunday, keeping it easy with some Dijon pork chops, potatoes, and a vegetable. Monday, Salisbury steak. Tuesday, pasta with vodka sauce. As you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays need to be easy for me. The pasta... I made pasta one day last week for dinner and we only eat half of it when it's just Doug and I. So I have the other half in the freezer because fresh pasta freezes beautifully. And I just use the jar of vodka sauce from Trader Joe's. So quick, easy dinner. And this is Andrew's birthday. We won't be doing anything on that day because it's just too impossible during the week with him. So we're trying to figure out a day to celebrate with him. So... We'll see about that. Wednesday, creamy Italian chicken served over noodles with a vegetable. Thursday's gonna be beef stew. Friday, ranch and dill pizza. We had a dill pickle, dill ranch pickle pizza at a local restaurant that we like. And oh my goodness, as crazy as it sounds, it was amazing. So I am going to try to duplicate that at home on Friday. Then Saturday, I am craving hot dogs. I don't know why, but I am. So on Saturday, we are gonna grill some hot dogs. I'm gonna make some potato salad and we'll have some veggies with that. So that is it. That is our menu for next week. Couple new things, couple different things and Keeping it pretty easy, actually. Not a lot of delicious things, but not a lot of complicated things. So my friends, that is it for the menu for next week. I'm really excited for the pizza, the dill ranch pizza. Um, 
I'm gonna look up a couple recipes online and I like to, you know, oh, this looks good, this looks good, this looks good, and kind of combine them all together and come up with something. So that's my plan. More than likely, I will probably just use a sourdough crust on that. Um, although I do have some pizza dough in the freezer. So last time I made it, I made a double batch and froze half. So maybe I will use a traditional yeasted um, pizza dough. I don't know, we'll have to see what I'm in the mood for on Friday and how much time I have, because that's really what it comes down to. So that is it. I hope you found this helpful. I hope it gave you a little bit of meal inspiration. Head on over to my website, jonespointedplate.com for all the recipes after Saturday. Uh, most of them are already on there, but there are a couple new things that I need to add. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and join our little community here. And I will leave a couple videos linked right here for you until my next upload. And as always, I will see you in my weekend vlog, my friends.